Using physical punishment on students with special needs. Lawmakers at the state capitol are taking a closer look at this practice. Well, this is something the legislature has tried and failed to outlaw in the past. KOCO Zach Rael joins us in studio now. Zach, there's a new effort today. And Jess Evan, that's right. Oklahoma is currently one of just 17 states that allows corporal punishment. We also allow it on students with disabilities. But now lawmakers at the capitol are examining the controversial practice once again. Currently, Oklahoma law allows educators to physically punish a student, even a special needs student, with spanking or slapping. On Thursday, some lawmakers at the Capitol met with experts to take a closer look at corporal punishment. When it comes to pain-based punishment, people do not necessarily stop the behavior, but they learn to avoid the stimulus that caused the behavior. A doctor from the University of Central Oklahoma told lawmakers that corporal punishment might stop bad behavior in the short term, but long term it could lead to aggression and emotional outbursts. Corporal punishment had similar outcomes on a child's brain activity when they're exposed to fearful stimuli that we would see in children who are abused. While this study was presented with research, Republican representatives Jim Olson and Randy Randleman released a statement after, saying that they were disappointed to see only a one-sided viewpoint represented. In a statement, Olson said, quote, It's best to take God at his word to do things his way. Last legislative session, the House failed to ban corporal punishment on special needs students. Olson had this to say then. If you have a child that misbehaves at 10 a.m., and they don't receive proper discipline till 5 p.m., especially if it's a little child, they're going to be very confused. The interim study today was the first step in once again trying to change the law this upcoming legislative session. Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.